Today on our podcast, we're diving into the world of technology, exploring major updates from giants like Apple, which recently pivoted from its electric car ambition to focus on generative AI, and Meta, caught in the whirlwind of global discussions and controversies, alongside a vibrant snapshot of Reddit's tech-centric dialogues and Samsung's breakthroughs in storage and wearable tech, painting a vivid picture of innovation, strategic shifts, and the relentless pace of the tech industry. In the latest Apple news, the tech giant is at the center of significant updates and shifts, highlighting its continuous balance between innovation and controversy. Notably, Apple has officially terminated its ambitious electric vehicle project, known internally as Project Titan, after a decade of development involving around 2,000 workers and an investment of over $10 billion. The company cited software and algorithm challenges as the main reasons for halting the project, leading to a strategic pivot towards generative AI initiatives. Employees from the disbanded eCar project are being redirected to focus on these emerging technologies. On a more positive note, Apple is enhancing user experience with updates that allow for more seamless syncing between iPhone and iPad devices. Additionally, the hardware front is buzzing with news of an imminent revamp of the iPad Pro lineup, featuring a sleek new design with OLED displays, MagSafe charging capabilities, and a range of new accessories. Simultaneously, Apple is advancing its exploration of virtual reality with the development of the Apple Vision Pro. Its international launch is building momentum with a teased release date for several countries, including the UK, Canada, and China. This effort aligns with Apple's broader ambitions to redefine user interactions within the metaverse, highlighted by the introduction of a Crumble Cookies app designed specifically for Apple Vision Pro users. Furthermore, Apple is introducing new AI-driven features across its product lineup, such as Superhuman's Instant Reply feature, leveraging AI for automated email responses to enhance productivity and streamline communication. However, the company has faced criticism for discontinuing access to home screen web apps on iPhones for all browsers, negatively impacting web developers and users. This move, alongside ongoing security and privacy concerns among users, underscores the challenges Apple faces in balancing innovation with user trust and safety. In addressing the evolving technological landscape, Apple and CEO Tim Cook have signaled plans to unveil AI initiatives later this year, with a specific focus on generative AI strategy and investments. This pivot highlights the company's determination to remain at the forefront of technological advancements amidst the challenge of discovering its next hit product in a market marked by shifting priorities and demands. Lastly, the decision to discontinue the electric vehicle project marks a significant shift in Apple's strategy, moving away from hardware innovations in the automotive sector to emphasize generative AI and software solutions. This change not only signifies a setback in Apple's ambitious plans, but also reaffirms the company's commitment to leading in technology's future, albeit with adjusted priorities. In recent developments, Meta, under the leadership of CEO Mark Zuckerberg, finds itself at the center of a whirlwind of events that span discussions, collaborations, and controversies across the globe. Zuckerberg's Asia tour, emphasized by his meeting with Japan's prime minister to discuss AI risks, showcases Meta's focus on AI across both political and business spectrums. This is further highlighted by potential collaboration talks with LG for an LG OLED TV featuring XR technology and strategic discussions on AI and XR cooperation with South Korea's President Yoon Suk-yeol, as well as leaders from LG and Samsung. In Europe, Meta is under the microscope for privacy issues, facing massive and illegal data processing accusations. Consumer organizations in the EU have lodged complaints for GDPR violations, intensifying the scrutiny on Meta and potentially leading to significant fines. Additionally, Meta's innovative endeavors are apparent in the upcoming launch of AR glasses, slated for a fall developer conference, and the introduction of TestGen LLM, for improving automated unit tests with large language models. These innovations, however, are overshadowed by the need to address a critical vulnerability and the controversy over a consent or pay subscription model. On the legal front, Meta battles challenges from NSO Group's spyware, with US courts demanding WhatsApp be provided with the Pegasus source code 
amidst broader issues of data privacy and GDPR compliance. Despite these hurdles, Meta continues to showcase its commitment to innovation and platform enhancement, as seen with the MetaQuest Plus and new VR apps, including a store credit and a lying down mode for headsets. However, operational challenges persist, highlighted by the backlash over Meta's decision to discontinue the Facebook News tab in the US and Australia, shifting focus to short-form videos on Reels and ending payments to Australian news media, a move that has drawn government scrutiny. Despite these challenges, Meta's strategic collaborations and investments in AI safety, alongside Zuckerberg's efforts for more authentic communication, signal a potential PR turnaround. Yet, in the company's journey remains a delicate balancing act, navigating through the complexities of social media, evolving privacy concerns, and the dynamic fields of AI and XR technologies. In today's Reddit News Roundup, the platform buzzes with a myriad of engaging discussions across various topics, from tech innovations to lifestyle changes. Users are drawn to an array of tech-related debates, including one initiated by an individual seeking a more efficient method to crack a password for a 7Z file using the Hashcat tool, raising questions on the ethical boundaries and techniques of password retrieval. Simultaneously, tips on removing adware from the Curicuroid 2 emulator via APK patching are shared, providing a solution to a common frustration among users. Cybersecurity topics garner significant attention, with an article by Reddit user MTTD on cross-inlining binary function similarity detection captivating enthusiasts, in addition to a captivating tech discovery at a local secondhand store shared by Moon and Stars 1984, highlighting the potential for unexpected finds. Discussions extend to the intricacies of air travel, with a post eliciting concerns about the altitude of a flight and another delving into the limitations of Telegram group members and the privacy concerns of screen recording sensitive chats, sparking a broader conversation on digital privacy and platform capabilities. The tech community also engages in a collective troubleshooting effort over a challenge in reverse engineering C binary code devoid of anti-debugging traces yet causing unexpected exits in GDB. This fosters a culture of collaborative problem solving, further illustrated by a philosophical comparison of seeking assistance in programming relative to other professions. Gaming fans converge around a post showcasing a game screenshot with impressive graphics, while the discovery of an XSS vulnerability triggers a debate on the ethics of responsible disclosure. A newcomer's inquiry about the challenges faced in network security evolves into a valuable resource sharing session, underscoring the Reddit community's supportive nature, which also comes to light in assisting a user in clearing their suggestion cache to avoid unwanted content. Additionally, discussions span software development hurdles, privacy debates, tech tutorials, and personal stories like a vet using a human-sized stethoscope on a pet mouse, painting a picture of Reddit's diverse and vibrant ecosystem. Moreover, dialogue about Reddit's potential IPO valuation, the unique culture of seeking help within the tech community, and the unending pursuit of knowledge in domains such as programming, cybersecurity, and tech innovation signify the platform's vital role in nurturing a global community of thinkers, makers, and learners. This roundup encapsulates the broad spectrum of conversations and discoveries occurring daily on Reddit, underscoring its status as a dynamic hub for information and community engagement. In the latest Samsung news, the tech giant is making waves with its advancements in storage and wearable technology, alongside significant retail discounts and exciting teasers for upcoming devices. Samsung is set to revolutionize on-device AI capabilities with its new micro SD cards, introducing a 256 gigabyte SD Express card renowned for speeds surpassing some SSDs. This is accompanied by the upcoming release of a one terabyte micro SD card in 2024, showcasing UHS ein speeds and enhanced durability features. On the retail front, Walmart is offering a substantial discount on the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live, now available for $69, marking a 54% price reduction for today only. Anticipation builds around Samsung's next generation of foldable phones with the first renders of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 revealing a more boxy design. Samsung hints at a big surprise for the device, raising excitement for its unveiling. Meanwhile, 
Samsung Display presents innovative foldable OLED concepts at MWC, drawing attention from tech enthusiasts eager for a glimpse into the future of display technology. The smart wearable market sees Samsung facing new competition from Honor, challenging the tech giant's dominance in the sector. Samsung also showcased an upcoming health wearable at the Mobile World Congress, signaling its entry into next-generation wellness technologies. For Galaxy S24 users, new guides are available to enhance their user experience through customization options like setting different text message tones for specific contacts and adjusting the home screen layout. Samsung's technological innovations continue with the introduction of its high-capacity, high-bandwidth HBM3E DRAM, expected to redefine AI performance benchmarks, with mass production commencing in the first half of 2024. Amidst excitement and speculation, Samsung's next unpacked event is rumored for early July, promising the reveal of the eagerly awaited Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Galaxy Z Flip 6, as well as the potential introduction of the innovative Galaxy Ring wearable. Samsung remains at the forefront of technology, embracing competition and expanding its product range into new and exciting markets. Keep an eye out for more updates on these and other developments from Samsung. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Don't forget to catch our next weekly technology episode for more intriguing insights and updates.